Israeli maps, both the children's, the adult, and the military maps, the M15 that we described earlier, which we don't have to show you, so sorry about that. Down underneath the, uh, where the filter comes in, that's where the exhaust port is. Cupping your hand over top of it, blowing out, same effect, cupping your hand over top of the filter, sucking in. M9s, same thing. Down here is your exhaust port. The nice thing about these ones, the, the mask with these little exhaust ports, it's easy to get the palm of your hand over it. Like the M17, you've got to get that nice grip up over it. That's why it's easier to do with a hood on the mask because it creates a better seal. And then with the filter, which you'll notice has a wider neck on it, and there's the inlet. So, you get the picture, you'll be able to find them. Exhaust port on the German. Right there. Same thing with the Russian. Yes, sir. Did you do it tonight? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. Thank you. Four hours recommended on these, depending on the contaminated, uh, the type of contaminant that you uh, encounter. CS gas will clog the filter faster than anything on the planet. Well, CS gas and probably drywall dust. And anything with large chemical deposits or large uh, large particles is going to clog these. It's going to clog this up in only a only matter of hours. Uh, in the CS environment, I change this after two. Now, key, 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 most important: don't change filters in a contaminated environment, people. But uh, the M10 is an excellent mask for money. It's about twenty-five to thirty dollars. The M10 was manufactured by the East Germans during the latter part of the Cold War. It was a copy of the M17, or the M17A1, actually. It is, in many ways, just a little bit better. It has a better rubber on it. It doesn't dry rot as easily, and, uh, which I have yet to see in the M17 actually dry rot. If you take care of it, light vegetable oil on the outside, you don't have a problem. Keep it out of direct sunlight, keep it in your bag. You can also put talcum powder on it to keep moisture off of it. You'll notice a lot of times when you open a brand new box, you sometimes find these masks sealed up. They will have a powder all over them. They almost look like a blue, like a light blue hue. That is a powder that's put on them to preserve them from moisture so that they don't dry right. Anyway, the East German mask, the M10, or the M10M, same type of cheek filter, only rather than having a clip-on type inlet valve, it has a threaded inlet valve. Actually, these work better than the clip-on types. The clip-on types, if you beat your mask up and don't take care of it, you'll find that the filters can get dented on the outside, the inlet valve can get warped a little bit or twisted, and, and it doesn't function properly. It keeps popping off your mask. This simply threads in. The only thing you have to do is make sure that the louvers are aiming down. Now, this is a little loose. However, once you get that rubber between it and the mask, and then the hood on top of it, it you can see it perfect. Um, you can, we have, with a little ingenuity, a little bit of common sense, and a lot of know-how, utilize the M17 filters, the M13A2s, in the M10 mask. But you have to have the outserts, or the inlet valve covers, for the filter. Because like, like I said, you will notice, Oh, I can't do this. I'll be able to clip. Gotta have this. Keeps A, water out, and B, dust particles out. You don't want, don't want this getting clogged with mud and dirt and things like that in the field. Um, these two are about a six hour filter. The M10M also has a drinking tube, just like the M17 and the M17A2, and the A1 for that matter. Um, they do not. Uh, they do not have a, uh, an elastic band around the uh, hood. It's a very stiff rubber. Um, it doesn't have any ties like on the uh, American hood, where you tie it around the voicemail and everything. You've got a really tight pull. It takes a little bit of work, but it's a, it's a thicker canvas-backed hood cover, and I mean, it's really difficult to rip. I, I like the M10M for the money. I think it's one of the best civilian. Uh,